so this is our net crate yarn and this is the Odin wools the sleek and it's uh, the 55% mer uh, fine merino wool 30% baby alpaca and 15% mulberry silk so each of the balls we got two of the skeins is 220 yards and really pretty color so this time I decided to make like a neck scarf and it would look like a cravat or like an ascot so it would look something like this and over your chest and then around your neck so let's uh, talk about this so what you do here, I uh, cast it on 44 stitches and I'm using number 8 US needles that it's a uh, 5 millimeter. So once you cast on your stitches regular way, I've used the long tail cast on and this is called the, the little hearts stitch and we have a video showing you how to do this but still uh, you knit one and knit the last one and then row number one you are going to double turn on each of the stitches double turn on each of the stitches and you do that the whole row until the one before the end and then the last one you knit so row number two, you are going to knit the first one and the last one. And then those double turns that you made, you are going to take off, pro-wise, take off, put them back on your left hand needle, and then you go through in the middle of that first stitch, pick up the second one and knit it and then you knit the first one so again you take off take off bring them back to your left hand needle pick up the second one in between those two strands of the first stitch so we knit it and then knit the first one again take off take off bring your stitches back to your left hand needle go in between the two strands of that first stitch knit the second one and then knit the first and then you do that the whole row so you're going to repeat those two rows until you have 24 hearts. So you can see the hearts here. So one, two, three. So until you have 24 of them or longer if you wish. So on the next row I want to make have less amount of stitches to go around my neck and what I want to do here I still want to have warmth around the neck but I really wanted to shorten this so what I do is always knit the first and the last and then knit two stitches together And pro one. Knit two stitches together. And pro one. Knit these two stitches together. And pro one. And I, you go this way, knit two together, pro one. And I'll see you when I finish this row. Okay, what I want to do at the end is a knit two together, purl one, and the last one you knit. 
and then on the next row and you're going to repeat these two rows so like that you have like ribbing on top around the neck so knit one and then knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl and then of course when you finish this row you're going to have purl knit purl knit and then on the next row you're going to start with knit knit purl knit purl knit purl and you're going to end with purl knit purl knit so you just follow the the stitch knit the knits and purl the purls and uh, and then you're good to go now write those instructions anyway and I'll see you when once I have the length that I want for the neck so on the ribbing part I have 22 inches already made and so measure your your neck because it has to be it has to go around your neck and then a soft knot around it that means this way so now let me tell you something on the other side since this is the right side of your work and you want your hearts to look up that means from the bottom to the top that means you have to make a new section like this and then attach it to the to the this side first we need to add the stitches in order to have 44 again and then we will start this section for the other side Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, have the original 44 stitches here, the same as here. Make sure that you're making the fo your 44 stitches on your right side of the work. That means on the right side of the hearts. So follow that in order to get your 44 stitches back. So what we're going to do is that we knit one, we knit the next, and then pick up that strand between your two stitches, put it on your left hand needle, and knit it through the back so it doesn't leave a hole. So again, knit one, knit the next, and pick up the strand. and knit it through the back. Again, knit two and pick up the strand, knit it through the back. Again, knit two and pick up the strand, put it on your left hand needle and pick it up through the back. So I'll see you when I finish the row. Okay, so I end knit two, make one twisted, and knit the last two. And now I have my original 44 stitches. Okay, so I already knitted the other part for the, for the front. So I'm going to attach this to the ribbing part so that the two sections look toward the center. Okay, so you can make a three needle bind off or a Kitchener stitch. So I took my long tail and passed it through from this side to that side purlwise. And now I am going to come to this side pick it up, pick this one up knitwise, take it off my needle, 
and then provides the next one. And now I want to go pro-wise, take it off, and then the next one, knit-wise. And in the front, you go knit-wise, take off, and pro-wise. And on the back, you want to go pro-wise, take off, and then knit-wise. So when the front is knit, take off, pearl, and in the back is pearl, take off, knit. So knit, take off, pearl, and then pearl, take off, knit. So when the front is knit, take off, pearl, and in the back is pearl, take off, knit. And you do that the whole row, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I'm almost at the end. So, pearl, take off, knit, knit, take off, pearl, and now I do a pearl, and knit. And that's it. See how pretty that looks? Right? You don't have a seam and it looks the same or similar to the other side. So, anyway, you're going to bring, weave all the ends in. And I will take some pictures of this. And thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page. Please subscribe. And I will be seeing you next time.